Hey guys, it's Mike from Lervig presenting our project that we've been working on all year with saving our CO2 and reusing it. Breweries, we have a large consumption of CO2 and at the same time we are able to produce CO2. And until recently, uh, only the bigger breweries could, could collect their CO2 from fermentation, reliquify it and reuse it. Thanks to the guy behind you. Hi. Uh, they invented uh, very small units for smaller breweries like us. As the yeast ferments the sugar, it kicks out CO2. So from one of these like 500 hectoliter tanks on average, we can collect roughly 1,500 kilos of CO2. A week or two use of CO2 for the brewery in general. For that reason, we're saving CO2 going out in the atmosphere. We're avoiding when they do CO2 shortages, which are happening quite frequently. And of course, we don't have to buy CO2 as much or at all. Let's see, we bought this machine to go alongside of it. This is just the carbonator. Most breweries already have this technology. This is just reducing the, the amount of CO2 we had to push through the beer to get the beer carbonated. This is very precise. We still have to use a lot of CO2 in the tank purging as well as in the filling and all that still consume a lot of CO2. I can show you how we collect the CO2 from the fermenter. Look down here, right now it's blowing off. The only reason is because it's just got in there and there's still a high, high amount of oxygen still. So we'll take a sensor and we'll check the oxygen level when it's right. We'll change it to this pipe here, the blue one, which goes into a collection. This collection ring goes all through the brewery around every tank. So we're building this collection tank out of an old tank that's been sitting here in the brewery unused for many years, since before I came. This tank's from 1960s. I guess when they built this tank, they never knew it would be a CO2 collection tank. But here we have the CO2 pipes. This is bringing the CO2 gas from the fermenters. Um, inside here, in case the fermenter shoots out yeast and foam, uh, this will shower and rinse it out the drain. But the CO2 always will be pushed out via pressure through the top and down to the uh, CO2 uh, recovery units. So we have these two units here, which are able to produce up to 20 kilos per hour. So depending on how much we have going on in the brewery, it, it might not even be enough. It might be push, pushing out 30, but it always has to go away. But I want to get as much CO2 as I can from everything. The idea is to collect all our CO2 and not lose any potential. You know, it's, uh, it's a loss. So we're recapturing this loss. This tank here, if you look up, it's, uh, it's a filter. So 4.7% alcohol or so. Uh, there's 56,000 uh, liters in that tank. Um, it's just finishing up fermentation now, but there's a calculation and we roughly can assume we're going to catch about 70% of the CO2 that it produces. And based on the alcohol percent uh, by weight, we can calculate there's roughly 1,400 kilos of CO2 that we'll catch and we can reuse in our next beer. This is our uh, gas CO2 tank that we buy CO2 from. I put in five ton or eight ton, but up to 10 tons here. Uh, we have a little tank that we're using now, but we're gonna have to buy a bigger tank. But you can see it's running now. We have a two ton tank here, which we're collecting in today. And uh, this one, as you can see, it's uh, vaporizing right now. So it's being used. Just don't touch that, it's very cold. So the CO2 is being collected here from downstairs as, as liquid and right now it's going back to the brewery. So it's going full circle and it's just like printing money.